Yeah. Um, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ram Govind Singh. I work in uh, Com Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. And um, as uh, as uh, already said, I work with uh, uh, mainly with incident handling, malware analyst, and um, related to web defacement. Uh, in uh, today talk. Um, requirement of uh, incident handling and incident response processes. What is the concept of a computer security incident response team? What are the services it is going, uh, it is um, provides and um, the basic steps involved in incident handling process, the brief about uh, Indian computer emergency response team and uh, a set of few tools um, that uh, we use in, in uh, during inc uh, incident handlings, and in the last uh, uh, one example uh, from this talk, um, you will. Uh, uh, cyber cyber security incidents that um, that may occur, and uh, how you can prepare for it. You can apply incident handling techniques, uh, uh, analysis and investigation technique for a new situations. Uh, for new situations, whenever an incident occur within your organization, you will also develop an understanding that right set of people with right skills are required uh, required uh, for incident response, and these experienced people will response against the incident whenever it is occurring within your organizations. You will also understand that there is a need to focus on best practices during incident management. And, and you will get to know that there is a need of collaboration among different IT support units for handling computer in this incident. Uh, and uh, the incident handling process is basically the collection of small uh, observation of small small activities that uh, may be possible that converted into a big um, a complicated incident. So for uh, all these, you will you will get to know from this talk. So let's start with uh, the definition of cyber incident. So any adverse event, any bad uh, bad event, or any event with bad reputation can be called as incident. In the terms of uh, NCSC, uh, it defines as a cyber incident as a breach of uh, uh, systems security policies uh, in order to affect in its integrity or availability and or the unauthorized access or attempted access to a system or systems uh, uh, that that can be called as uh, cyber incident means any in, uh, any uh, security policies that affect our confidentiality integrity and availability of the data that can be considered as a cyber incident uh, let's uh, understand with uh, some examples like uh, like denial of services or DDoS attacks. Denial of services means uh, an attacker is preventing you to provide services normally. Uh, DDoS attacks means uh, uh, DDoS attacks perform with multiple set of nodes. Similarly, unauthorized access means someone has compromised your website, database, Active Directory servers or ETC that can be uh, that is controlled by an attackers defacement or public website defacement means uh, the your website has compromised and its its pages has been changed war that infect workstation on a network scanning or network probing means someone is someone is scanning your network similarly uh, malware attacks uh, means uh, your organization got infected with some malwares or some APT based attacks, some ransomware attacks, data breaches, or uh, you got infected with some insider threat uh, that uh, have possibility of data loss and data exploitation. So the 
the thing is these are the examples that can be considered as uh, cyber incidents then what is uh, what is our point of view uh, means if you are a cyber security people and you you want to have uh, you want to respond against it then how you will respond like for example um you uh, your organization or your system got infected with some malware related attack for example a botnet uh, exploit kit or some data stealing ma malware like trojan rat crimson rat apt based attack then then is there something that you can do in a specific way when such type of attacks are happening uh, within your network for example uh, for example if uh, a malware attack happens then what i can do i can remove all the infected computers from the network or i can find out what what are the infection point like the set of ips from where attack is happening or set of websites domain name from where uh, this um, attack is happening or a list of command and control servers i can also do that uh, i can um, i can put effort to control um, this uh, uh, such attacks within our organizations we can also issue an advisory that uh, this kind of uh, things are happening by, with bad reputations we should be alerted and take appropriate measures or we can contact with law enforcement agencies for appropriate uh, guidance similarly like uh, like uh, your website got compromised many times um, if um, someone uh, means like we inform that the your website got compromised then uh, means uh, uh, the uh, the other side person does not understand what it means how they should and uh, they should tackle this situation or what are what are the set of actions that uh, he needs to perform whenever he got the incident of defacement uh, see defacement can be either um, using intentionally uh, means in the process of mass defacement or someone can target you intentionally and can deface your websites so in this in such type of this incident i think uh yeah this time uh, audible okay okay uh, so uh, so this one compromise website right okay so so uh, if your website got compromised during such incidents similarly uh, if uh, uh, data breaches are happening uh, like uh, you got uh, notice that a lot of uh, users credential like username and passwords are being exposed and shared publicly um, data breaches can be either Uh, by accidentally or by by some adversarial attempts then then what can be your approach uh, when data breach incidents are happening uh, like you can contact the owner of the credential 
uh, you can contact to the uh, the person where credentials are being dubbed, dumped and in a security measures you can implement like two factor authentication or you can also advise to the uh, to the uh, your organization for removing the some credentials similarly ransomware attacks nowadays happening very much and as a, as a cyber security expert what can be approach when ransomware kind of incidents are happening within your organizations so ransomware are malware program which encrypts all the files in your systems and ask money for to for decryption so, so the one appro the approach can be like uh, you isolate the infected system which are affecting with ransomware you can perform the root cause analysis apply fixes and patches you can also advise uh, to the to the teams like not to pay ransoms and uh, promotion of regular backup of the systems. Uh, 